Last week, you know, they were saying that uh, like good teams find ways uh, to win. And uh, uh, you guys extended the winning streak for three at the overtime buzzer beater. Uh, and another win on uh, Saturday. Uh, very good week uh, for you guys. Yeah, we're certainly pleased with, as we say, taking home, taking care of home court and, and pulling out two victories. On Thursday night against East Bay, we, we were not happy with the way we started the game defensively in particular and obviously went into halftime with our, our backs against the wall. Um, but as we talked about at halftime, we just, I just didn't feel like we were playing with any kind of sense of urgency in the first half. And I thought East Bay were the aggressors and they were playing with more intensity. And that was pretty much the talk at halftime. It wasn't so much X and O's, but we just needed to play with a lot more, like I say, sense of urgency. And the girls did come out in the second half and did just that. And obviously with our backs up against the wall, I thought, I was really proud of just how we fought back, and, and certainly Johanna making the, the buzzer beater there was an exclamation to the night. Who knows if you'll be able to catch a San Diego, but how important is it to stay up there on the top, knowing that you know, the top teams you know, get the host in, in, in our opening rounds, at least in, in the tournament? Right. Well, we're winding down here at the last three weeks of the season, and of course we're fully aware that the top four teams get to host, which is something that at this point we're in a position, if we just take care of business, that hopefully we will be able to do. It's not so much you know, catching San Diego or anybody else, but we really try to focus just on ourselves. And as we say, we want to be in control of our own destiny. And now we have three of our last five games on the road. Uh, so it's really important for us to get those last two wins this past weekend. So we, we were happy with that. Uh, when you guys uh, went on the road a couple weeks ago, you had the one game at Chico. You guys will do that uh, again this mm -hmm. week instead of that right. back to back. So playing Stanislaus, you know, Coach Kinder said it's not a, a vacation destination down there, but it, it is a business trip. But that, Facing one opponent in, in a status loss, a lot easier than, say, the back-to-back. -back. It, it is, certainly. I mean, obviously, we just have the one game for the week. It's, it allows you much more preparation. I mean, we have started talking about status loss yesterday, of course, and uh, we'll be working on them every day in practice. And so it's, it's the same for them. I mean, it's nice when you only have the one game. It's, you know, we can relax a little bit on Monday, so to speak, and give the girls' legs a little bit more rest and then really just focused on on the scout, and here we are going on the road again. It's going to be tough. Stanislaus is definitely a tougher team at home, um, and we certainly know what we saw from them coming here, but we expect them to make some adjustments and for it to be even a tougher match. Yeah, Stanislaus is a team that has struggled. All their I think, conference wins have been uh, at home. You guys got a win uh, against them uh, back in December, but uh, they're obviously a team they want to knock off those teams uh, at the top, and I'm sure that they're going to give it their best on Saturday as well. They are, and they've been a team. I mean, they're very capable of, I mean, they pulled out a big win against San Diego um, a few weeks back. So we know what they're capable of doing. We certainly have our hands full, and it's, it's, going, to be, it's going to be a tough game for us. And as we keep saying, we just, we just have to come with our A game every night, regardless if it's San, uh, excuse me, Stanislaus or whomever it is. We're still striving to play our best game. Uh, I'm sure at this part of the season that everybody has the bumps, the bruises, and all that stuff. How are you guys doing uh, health-wise entering this final couple of weeks? Yeah, last week actually, it's funny you say that we had a, a couple players with that were that were banged up a little bit. I mean, no one is 100% healthy at this time of year, whether it be our team or anybody else. And you know, we just gotta me as a coach have to be mindful of those things on how I manage practices, how I manage certain different or certain things, and and everybody's just gonna kind of suck it up and toughen it through as we're all in the same situation. Anything else like that? No, just uh, anxious, even though it's nice to have the week to prepare for Stanislaus. Saturday seems like he's so far away. Um, just just anxious to get on the road and, and have another opportunity to see how we can play. Sounds good. Thanks, Coach. Great. Thank you.